Hey y'all, Kalari here with another video I didn't want to have to make, but apparently this is going to be the month of craziness for your old girl. I want to start off by apologizing to somebody who reached out to me this morning in DMs. I might have came across as callous and flippant because I really didn't understand what was going on or why you approached me the way you did. And honestly speaking, now that I have some newer information, I hope that you didn't think I was coming across that way. I thought you were telling me this because I had very vocally decided to walk away from Girl World. I was very in my feels about the fact that I do not want you to not be a mod for me because I decided to not do Girl World stuff because that's where my head was. I wasn't really thinking about the other stuff. And then after tonight, getting home, seeing some stuff today, I now finally understand why you approached me. And I'm going to say to you again that I do stand by. I don't have a problem with you directly at all. And now that I know what I know, I am sorry to you. I really, really am. Because honestly, I had no idea. And I know ignorance is not an excuse. And I'm about to apologize for a lot of that because I need to get to the person I did unmod today because this one hurts. Last week when Hannibal did his panel, I jumped on for a few minutes because I got texts from my best friend who happens to mod for him. I don't think she's going to after this because um, she had already told him that she wanted to distance herself for whatever reasons. But... She texted me that something was going on with Hannibal and being doxxed and all this information being brought out about him that may or may not be true. So me being in my feels about what had happened to me recently, I thought this was that. So I jumped on full support. Nobody forced me. This was me jumping on to somebody I enjoyed as a content creator thinking that it was just an outright attack of his character. I was wrong. The thing is, for me, I keep that boundary between the people I enjoy and the people that I used to cover. I felt like if I could do that, I'm fine. And I was a very vocal member for a while in Hannibal's chats because I enjoyed it. He's the first one that gave me a chance to enjoy panels. He's the reason why I found paneling comfortable. There were times where I just needed a laugh and I could jump on and listen to his shows and, and laugh or replay his shows and get a laugh or hear stuff informative. But one of the things that I didn't understand when I jumped on the panel, panel last week was the fact that there was more to the story. I just figured that two people that didn't like his channel doxxed and exposed a story that wasn't anybody's business. And for me, because I was in protect my peace mode after what happened to myself, I thought that he was going through the same thing I went through. I wanted to believe that the story that he had told everybody was what was the truth. Because I had seen so many people run with a narrative about me that I know ain't true. So I pretty much superimposed my own feels onto a situation that I should have paid more attention to, and that was my fault. And I have to own up to it. I jumped in emotional where I should have been more analytical. Because now that I've heard more to this story, including that there is probably more than one person that was involved with him being that way, and I have to say allegedly because, once again, this is all second hand for me because I don't know these people on that level. And to be full transparent, outside a few Discord conversations I've had with Hannibal, starting with when we went to task for Jenna Beck's nonsense against him, where she said he was aggressive and everything else. And I felt defensive because I felt like she was doing that because he was a black man. So that was the first time I ever got to talk in a group with Hannibal and other creators who felt like that was a step too far. And I defended him vocally against those allegations. Come to this year when everything's starting to go down about people and everything else, I really figured that it was the same level of people spreading that he was spreading an STD 
And I jumped on really quick to say what I said, and then I went to bed. I didn't think about it. I didn't want to think about it. I didn't care. If I could be 100% honest, I did not care on that level because I felt like this was just another hit piece. But of course, that DM I got this morning from somebody I really do like and enjoy, that my twisted brain thought, well, maybe it's because I don't want to do Girl World no more, and they just want to separate themselves so that they don't get ostracized. This was how I was thinking this morning when I seen that. And I profusely want to apologize to you, girl, for even thinking you thought that way. Because it, that was where my mind was. I really put in the back of my mind the Hannibal stuff because I didn't want to think about it. And honestly, as somebody who has survived that myself, who went through years of hell with somebody who he'll never own up to what he did, it's always going to be my versus his. It is a painful time that I am glad to be away from that makes me cherish what I have now. But it's no excuse for me to excuse somebody who's been credibly accused and whose story just doesn't add up. And when you go back and you listen after I heard some other stuff today, because I got home and I still was not in the know. And I almost went back to the Twitter DMs to say to this person, if it really is you want and to not mod for me because of the girl world stuff, just let me know. And I'm glad I didn't do that. Because I had no idea that he was like that towards you, not physically, but verbally. And I'm sorry. All I can say is I'm sorry. I know ignorance is not an excuse. But I also know that I was feeling emotional last week as it was. And I just really thought he was being railroaded. And now that I know that that is more than likely not the case, I feel fucking stupid. I feel dumb for just blindly believing in somebody I just use for entertainment. But I'm honest enough to say I made this mistake. When you think about it, this happened June of this year. You talk about full transparency. You talked about getting into legal trouble before. You've talked about your substance issues. You could have came out in June without giving all the information and said, hey, to those of you who trust me, to those of you who want to be housemates or house members, I went through some things with my partner. I don't want to lay bare everything that happened. We are working through it. But I just want to get ahead of things because I am a public figure, whether we like to believe it or not, the moment we sit in front of a camera and grow an actual community, we become public figures. You could have nipped this in the bud if you wanted to be fully transparent back after it happened. They have to be extremely direct, but you had since at least July to get ahead of this and say, hey, I went through some things. It's more personal because you know you have channels that would love, they would salivate and to do this to you. And even though I feel like people go, well, he defended you, 10. I thank him for that because I honestly still feel like the shit that people are trying to accuse me of is definitely not real, definitely lies. And based on opinion about shit that had nothing to do with them, we're not the same people. I didn't go to him begging him to defend me. I just asked him in the Discord, if you want to distance yourself, let me know here so that I can leave quietly. Because I was tired of being blindsided by people who didn't want to let me know directly that my funders were enough for them to not want to fuck with me. So I'm, like I said, I, I'll be honest. I just reached out to him on Discord a few days even before any of this dropped, asking him, hey, if you don't want me in your chat, because I'm already planning to be silent anyway because I don't feel comfortable, let me know to my face. And he said we were fine. That was the last correspondent he and I had. And I was okay with that. And then when he did that panable, I'm just going to call it panable. I don't care. I jumped on. I was emotional. I thought he's just being railroaded. I could not see it past what I went through. And that was my fault. And as somebody who has really, truly dealt with the horrors of having somebody you love do that to you for years before I have my escape, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to anybody who thought I was being flippant to their feelings. I did not mean it to come across that way. I honestly did not believe and did not want to believe 
at the time that he was capable of that. I thought the emotion that he was showing when telling that story, even though it really doesn't add up if you truly listen to it. I didn't feel it was my place to judge and I thought I could keep that boundary between myself and somebody I enjoyed for entertainment. And this is my mistake and I have to own up to it. I, I feel like when it comes to stuff like this, it ain't easy. I don't put people on unnecessary pedestals. I know humans fuck up, but I set boundaries for a reason when it comes to certain things and abuse is never okay especially between partners. I definitely draw the line at anybody credibly accused of any kind of assault. And I didn't. And that was my mistake. I really wanted to salvage one of the few channels I thought I could hold on to even after leaving Girl World officially. And I'm sorry. I honestly will try to do better. I will try to hear all the facts before I make decisions. I will not go out my way to dismiss people's feelings on things because that was not where I was going on Friday at all. I just really thought he was being railroaded and I really just wanted to enjoy his channel because I thought this was just a hit piece to take him down. And I can't apologize enough to people who were in that chat who thought I was being dismissive of them. Honestly speaking, listening back to myself, it did feel like I was telling them you shouldn't have told that because I really thought it was a simple story of his hand with a thick bracelet hitting his partner. And I thought that it was something like from years ago. I had no fucking idea it happened June of this year. And like I said, ignorance is not an excuse. But it is the reason why I didn't understand what was going on. And I should have just listened to my instinct that night and minded my business and went to bed early like I should have. But I didn't. And it's out there. You will forever have a soundbite of me initially defending his actions and I can't walk away from it. All I can do is apologize. Own up to the fact that I went in emotional. I didn't go in analytical. And this just, for me, makes it clear that I am not built for any of this girl world stuff. I am a nerd. I am a history buff. I am an anime lover. I just want to have fun on here. When I share my personal life, especially with mental health and stuff, that's just me giving you little bits that I feel comfortable. I've always maintained a boundary for a reason. And I was seeing the stars in my eyes with somebody who brought me almost a full year of laughter and of comfort, a place where I thought we could talk real issues and, and real world stuff. And now that's gone too. So once again, I had to take his wrench. I, my sub runs out at the end of this month. Um, my membership, I mean... And once again, this is going to be another channel that I won't feel comfortable sitting in now, even though it was going to be a channel that I was going to lurk. The reality of this situation is I really don't know anybody here like that. And it's making it harder for me to want to get to know anybody like that. And once again, I am so sorry to anybody who felt I was dismissive of them. This was completely my fault. You do not have to forgive me on this. I made this mistake and I'm at least owning up to it because it was fucked up of me to not understand what was going on and just be reactionary. But that's it. Um, it's going to be a busy week for me. I think I will do a fit bong maybe on Wednesday or Thursday, but right now it's going to be doctor's appointments and stuff for me right now. I'm not sick y'all. So, other than that, that's all I wanted to say. And thank you for watching if you do watch this.